So, so far we have tinkered with a lot of other features in Microsoft Excel here. Things like in, in the home tab and formatting and inserting basic formulas and so on. Then under the insert tab, we learned a little bit about inserting charts and a couple of the things here. Then on the page layout that you can format the margins and orientation and so on. You're familiar with that. And then we did some of the functions. And like I said, it's going to be impossible to go through everything that is available here. So now at this point, I'm going to uh, want to cover here a little bit about data. Um, Excel, it's a powerful tool that it can interact. And this is the concept that I want you to keep in mind that if you can use Excel to pull data in from all kinds of other systems out there. So let's say you wanted to pull data from Microsoft Access. So you click on Microsoft Access and we'll cover Microsoft Access and databases at some other point, but most companies, they use some kind of uh, database very similar to Microsoft Access. So in this case, we'll go to this location and let's say um, this is our database. Usually databases, as you, you learn later, it has customers, it has other all kinds of records. So let's say we want the customer table in this case and download it to or drop it into Excel. So we click OK or import it to Excel. We click OK again. And these are all the customers that we pulled for that from that specific database. Other things that you can do with data here is that you can import data from the web. So this would be, for example, going to a web page here. And if that web page has specific data fields, such as the Dow Jones, for example, notice it will have a little arrow. You can click on it and then click on import and it will import that data. It will pull it from the web, from that specific page into Excel. Another way to do this is to import data from a text file or what's called a comma separated file csv file which is the most common file format for moving data from one system to another uh, so let's say i go here to sheet number three and then i go under from text now i go to a place that i have some kind of text file let's say it's customer double click on customer now you'd have to know whether the data is delimited or fixed width so let's say it's delimited. We'll figure this out when we get into access and the data stuff. And it's tab delimited or comma delimited. So if you remember a moment ago, I said comma separated file. So usually the records are separated by a comma. Notice now as soon as I chose comma, they are separated in these columns. I click on next and then finish and then click OK. And now notice that data has been imported from a text file. You could also get the data from other sources, like you could connect to a Microsoft SQL Server. This is what a lot of the companies and businesses use out there. So it's a live system. For example, here at Cairn, it could be a Power Campus or it could be the self-service system and so on. So you're connecting to that specific server. This is a more complicated setup to do, but it's possible to pull the data in real time from that live system. Or you could use existing connections as well. The existing connections that could come in handy, for example, for pulling data from like stock quotes and things of that nature from online. So let's say we want to use the MSN money investor stock quotes. We click on it and then we want to put it in an existing spreadsheet. Let's say starting with B2, we click OK here and now it wants to know what symbols we want to enter there for different companies. For example, it could be Microsoft. I think Microsoft, it's MSFT. And it's going to pull the data, the stock as of this point, as I'm typing this for Microsoft. So for example, the last trade was at $27.95 and the high was 27.98 and the volume and all that type of stuff. You can insert multiple records here. So you can insert multiple records here. For example, let's say under existing connections, you wanted to stock quotes and we want, let's say Microsoft, we separate them by commas. Let's say we want Google. So you'd have to know what these fields are. Let's say we want Apple and so on. You could add 
and you can use this value to refresh for future ref refreshes so every time you open this excel spreadsheet it will give you the latest and you can use this for your personal investments you can use it for something that you're studying so you can click ok here and notice now it's going to pull all of those and give you the data for each one of those by the way notice the google at this point it's at 801 dollars and 20 cents you can click on chart here and uh, it will bring a chart and all that type of stuff. Keep in mind that you can interface Excel with all kinds of other systems out there. As you get to be business professionals, you can use this feature, ask for a comma separated file, and you'll be able to bring that data into Excel and then use all the knowledge that you have gained from this course, for example, by sorting, data sorting and creating charts and all that type of stuff directly from Excel. And don't forget that you can do also mail merges using an Excel file in conjunction with Microsoft Word. That would be an, a mail merge. And then in conjunction with Outlook, you can do an email merge where you send emails out to your customers.